a vibe, it's it's a vibe, yeah yeah, it's a vibe, it's it's a vibe, yeah yeah, it's a vibe, it's a vibe, yeah yeah, it's a vibe, it's a hop in the ride, don't suicide, yeah yeah, slow it down, dirty spray, yeah yeah, yeah my bitch don't care. What's up? Oh my gosh, I just braided my hair and I have such a little egg head. But anywho, welcome back to my channel, you guys. So today we're going to be doing how, like this video is going to be how I get that sleek pushback bob that you guys have been loving. I got this unit from my first wig and also the black unit. I got it from my first wig as well. But this time we are going to do this highlighted black and brown wig which is really really cute because I needed another one that is like my go to hairstyle right now. Oh my gosh let me put on. <laughs> but anywho the reason I got on here without um without my wig on is because I want you guys to see how flat my braids are. Now I have really thick hair but it don't seem like it because I have my braids so flat y'all so I do nine braids going straight to the back and then I um, spritz it down so it can be really really flat I do whatever it takes to make my braids really flat and that's how my units come out really natural as well because you have to have a flat foundation so anywho let's go ahead and put this on because girl <laughs> I look like a little egghead <laughs> so let me show you how easy it is to put this wig on so like I said this is from my first wig it comes with this little scrap I always um tighten it to the tightest like this and then it comes with the regular scraps right here so I always and it comes with little holes right here so I always tighten mine on like the third hole coming from each angle because it's two so I'm gonna do it right here then I'm gonna unhook this you guys know these are the scraps to make your wig lay really flat it's very important that you do this this is a very important step this is gonna make your wig lay really flat on your head so I'm gonna um, do the same amount so now your wig should be looking like this okay really I do a crisscross method then I take the scrap here I flip the lace over a little bit. I take the scrap here. It does have combs, but I don't like to use the combs too much because I don't like it to hurt my head. But y'all, this is like the easiest install ever. Okay, you guys, so just like that, it's super, super easy. I already flat ironed this unit on my mannequin head. I also used a little bit of the wax stick that my first week seen you so i love this inch this is like the perfect length i think this is the side i want to say this may be a little longer than the other one that i have i don't know it kind of look a little longer but this unit is just so flawless y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's placed right on my head like so yeah, I think the other one I have is like a 10 inch. So I think this is a little bit longer, which is cute. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the ear tabs off. Let's go ahead and make sure the wig fit my head. So I'm going to take my time and cut the extra lace off. Okay, you guys. So we have cut the ear tabs off. I almost cut them too short, but that's okay. We're going to get them right. We're going to get them right. So as you can see, the hair is looking nice and sleek. And nice and push back just like I like it so we're gonna go ahead and um, glue it down and then after we glue it down we're gonna go ahead and cut the lace off but I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little bit of the lace off now one thing about my first wig the lace is always so nice y'all it's so flawless And then I'm going to use my regular glue that I always use is the Erica J glue and also the Even Wonder Lace 
spring y'all know i love using those two products those are like the best product but i love the density of this wig this wig is just giving everything i can tell i have not plucked this wig yet i will be plucking it a little little bit but i'll show you guys how i make it look extra natural but this is just getting very classy and just effortless so let's go ahead and glue this thing on okay you want to make sure you clean the front of your hairline just so you can get a flawless melt of course so i'm gonna put a few dots here and you want to make sure due to the fact that this lace is super thin and really nice quality you want to make sure that um the glue is completely dry before you attach it because you don't want it uh, hear it you don't want it to come through the lace okay i'm just showing you guys how i get that flawless looking install So we have our first two layers of glue. Now we're gonna take a little bit of the Even Wonder Lace Spray. And I always spray it on my fingers just because I don't like it to be messy and just spray it directly on my hairline. Okay, you guys, I think it's ready. So what we're gonna do first is go ahead and pull it down. You have like a few seconds to place it how you want it. Always pull mine. Always start here. You have like a few seconds because it's pretty dry. It's not like wet and sticky and that's why I love this glue. Because you have like a few seconds. And then I just take the ends of it. And one thing about this wig, you could just pull it tight towards the ear tabs and you're gonna just make sure that the ear tabs are pushed down and I just hold it for about 30 seconds the tight as I can just hold it and pushing it down So what we're gonna do, cause it still is not gonna be like flawless how I, I would like it. So I'm gonna just go up and down and cut as much as the lace off as possible. It don't have to be neat. It can be up and down motion. So as you guys can see, you want to make sure that your lace is not like just cut straight across. Whoo, that is looking so good. And I just go and I just push the lace back down a little bit. Oh, that is looking good. That is a good install. I did not bleach this unit. I have not did anything yet to this unit. And it's too... It's two way. It, I, this is the first melt. Then I'll show you guys how I melt the second melt. Okay, cut that lace off. Now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do some melting. Some like this is like the second melt that I do. So what I'm gonna do? I need kind of like a rat tail comb. This one might be too thick. I need my little regular. Hopefully this video is not too long. I don't try to make it too long. But I do want to be a little bit more detailed for you guys. Because some of y'all be getting y'all wigs. And y'all be like, my wigs still don't come out like yours. So I kind of want to be a little bit more detailed. So I'm just going to like try to flip it back. And see what's not glued down. Try to stick my comb in any type of spot. That's kind of flipped up. And I'll take a little bit of glue. Not spray. And I kind of like force it underneath the lace. Because that's what's going to give you that flawless install. Everything has to be glued down, y'all. It can't be lifting. I know some people say, you know, they don't like glue and stuff like that. You don't have to use glue. If you want to go for a, um, like a glueless install, that is one thing about my first wig. You can definitely do that. 
You can take your wig off every single night if you want and your hairline will look beautiful. But me, being me, I have a lot to do, baby. I don't have time to fix my hair every morning. I just don't. But I know some girls do not like to sleep in their unit. They just want to grab their unit off the mannequin head and put it on. That is a-okay. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just making sure. So as you guys can see, I'm going to zoom up a little bit. You can see when I lift it back, I can see like it's lifting back a little bit. All I do is just take a little bit of glue, very little bit, with this metal rat teeth. I mean, <laughs> metal rat tail comb girl not rat teeth <laughs> and I just kind of melt it down and this is called like double melting your hairline okay you guys so the unit is on it's looking flawless you definitely can go like this let me show y'all how it look if you was to go like this out the house your wig is on some girls prefer like this very clean look this without me plucking I just want to show y'all what it's giving without plucking. It is really, really cute. But me being me, I need a little plucking. I need a little, you know, that's just me. So, I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do to give it, like, my custom look. So, what I do is, like, it's too moon-shaped a little bit up here. So, I'm going to just pluck it a little bit up here. A very little bit. I'm holding the lace down. Every wig I do this with because it's just like, I don't know. I like, you know, I have to just custom it to my hairline, my natural hairline. But it's something that you don't have to do, y'all. You still gonna look gorgeous if you don't pluck it because I'm barely plucking it. Okay. So, before we get carried away with plucking, I am going to do my two little scoops that I always do with my baby hairs. Nothing too much. Just like two little barely there baby hairs. If this is something that you don't care for, you don't have to do it, y'all. I promise you, you still going to look absolutely beautiful. But this is just going to make me feel like regular <laughs> so just gonna put a tight little curl right here like so and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for this little piece right here a tight little curl like so mold it now when I do my baby edges I do like it to go back in the hair I don't like it to be definitely with my bobs I don't like it to be too far in the front I still like it to look pretty sleek so then I'll take a little bit more of the spray and like make sure I push the baby hair inside of the hairline so it don't look forced because I don't want it to look like it's forced. Now you can keep it like this and go and still slay or you can slay like this. Whatever you want to do, sis. So let me go ahead and finish this side and then we'll go ahead and finish up this review. Let me finish up this side, y'all. Okay, you guys. So the unit is basically on. I did my edges on. Kind of how I like them. Um, so now I'm going to just add a little bit more of a bump. Now, like I said, I feel like this unit is a 12 inch and the other unit I had was a 10 inch. So I'm going to go ahead and bump this unit a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And the hair bumps so well. And I kind of want a nice bump. So it can be a little, sh it can lay a little bit shorter. So you want to make sure when you're bumping, you're kind of tucking it. Like a C. 
like a C bump. Old school bump. I don't know if you guys like, can see the color like that, but it's definitely giving 90s. Alright, let's Bump it, girl. And you definitely can wear this. It don't have to be a slick back type of look. That's like you can wear it with the part down the middle, a part on the side. So many ways you can wear this look. I just love a slick back look. I don't really like a part, but you could definitely wear this with the part. If you wanted to wear it with the part in the middle. You definitely can and it'll still slay this is a 13 by 6 part so it is gonna look so natural so the part is gonna lay like really long as you guys can see the part is gonna lay long so you could definitely wear it like this and this is going to still give natural tees. You can also do a part on the side as well. Okay, you guys, so that is it for this hair review. As you guys can see, it was really, really easy to install. Absolutely love it. It hot combs well. It just looked very classy and sophisticated. And it has a lot of volume. And this is the air density. I mean, I think it's called air so it's just like the perfect amount of volume in this unit and I love that for me like I said I always add a little dry shampoo just to give me the look that I like I am starting to sweat on top of my lips so I know it's time for me to go but this is it for this hair review love you guys and I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye guys